According to this author, Camilla is actually very scared of Prince William, who merely tolerates his stepmother, who has always been a little afraid of him. The author also claims that Camilla needed a gin and tonic after her first meeting with William. It sounds less than ideal, but it should be noted that one of the Queen's family friends says William has warmed up to Camilla and that they have a more familiar relationship these days. However, there is still a lot to overcome and there is ongoing distrust and tension. William distrusts Camilla and feels resentment towards her because of their devotion to their mother. They never felt comfortable opening up to her in any real way. William and Harry's distrust grew when they found out that Camilla was leaking stories to the press to make herself look better. Surprisingly, William and Camilla grew closer amid all the drama with the Sussexes, but there is still tension between them. Things aren't as great as they might seem publicly. It looks like Camilla is afraid of William, who merely tolerates her. I'm not surprised by this. Although Camilla has power, William's ego overrides everything. This ego will become even more pronounced when he becomes the king of the UK. He will do whatever he sees fit and may not prioritize Camilla. If Charles dies while Camilla is still alive, she will witness William's ascension to the throne. Camilla is always involved in something, and while she has managed to avoid many consequences, I would expect her to be cautious and constantly looking over her shoulder. The royal family seems to be diminishing, according to The Independent, which has reported that the shrinking royal family is on the brink of collapse. They discussed the British monarchy's personal crisis, and everyone in the royal family is aware of this. A lot of people will be watching their backs, especially with the king's cancer diagnosis and other issues. The number of working royals is decreasing Harry and Meghan have left the family. Andrew has been stripped of his titles and patronages due to civil actions and allegations, and the royal family's Income is not as strong as it appears. They need to collaborate with celebrities, as seen with William and Kate at the Olympics, to maintain public interest. Unlike Diana, who had an immense personal pull, and Elizabeth, who still has significant influence, many current royals lack that personal magnetism. According to In Touch and Us Weekly, palace officials give the impression that the monarch is recovering, but they are lying. Insiders reveal that the king is actually still very sick. The source said that the king and palace officials are well aware that death is a possibility and may be imminent. Regarding Charles's royal engagements, the source shared that King Charles has been fulfilling his duties to maintain appearances, but things have been rough for him. He is making public appearances, but they are for shorter periods. He is often whisked in and out by helicopter after engagements. He needs rest, and his health is deteriorating, so the palace is taking shocking steps as Charles's health seemingly deteriorates. This is what I've been saying. Sorry if I find the word deteriorate hard to pronounce. I have a stutter that I dislike. I'm not surprised by this situation. Charles's death will likely be a shock, because he always makes everything look fine. When his death occurs, it will come as a sudden surprise. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up.